Howdy YouTube, welcome to Dude RV. As you can see behind me, we are currently on the banks of Granger Lake at Wilson Creek Park. It's a COE property, but we're done here. I just had a one night layover here as I'm traveling south. We're gonna go down to Lockhart State Park. While we're there, we may pick up some barbecue from one of the notable barbecue restaurants. After all, Lockhart is the barbecue capital of Texas. So let's get on the road and head to Lockhart State Park. Lockhart State Park. All right, I'm in Lockhart, Texas, finally. I'm gonna go into Chisholm Trail Barbecue. I hear this is where the locals eat of all the barbecue places. There seems to be a barbecue war going on here. But anyway, I'm gonna go in here to Chisholm Trail and get me a plate to go and head on out to Lockhart State Park. It is starting to get busy here at the Chisholm Trail Barbecue, uh, cause we're about noon. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of this parking lot before I can't. Well, I'm here, Lockhart State Park. Before I do anything, I'm gonna eat some, eat some lunch. Gotta go get a fork. So here's the meal that I bought at Chisholm Trail. I got a three meat plate. Mm -hmm. Man, that looks good, good, good. So ribs, sausage, brisket, beans, okra, mashed potatoes, a barbecue feast for a king. Let's eat. Man, that barbecue was, is, is okay. Um, that's, I'm gonna say it was, it was okay. 
I think if I ever come back to, Lock, to Lockhart, I'll have to try some of the other barbecue. Anyway, let's talk about the site. As you can see, I'm looking at the golf course. Site number five. Now the, there's, there are only 20 sites in Lockhart State Park. So it can be difficult to get a, a reservation and it is spring break. So I wasn't picky. I, I just needed a site. So I, I, I'm here to pick up Little Red. And I thought, while I'm down this way, I might as well do what I do. So site number five, very level, asphalt pad. All the sites are arranged in a flower petal going inward, not outward, which is cool because I get to see the, the golf course. It is a full connection site, 3050 water. I wasn't particularly looking for a full connection, but I got one. Got a fireplace, a barbecue cooker. Naturally, they have a barbecue cooker. This is, this is Lockhart State Park, barbecue capital of Texas, Lockhart. Wooden picnic table on a concrete pad covered with galvanized awning and a beautiful oak tree. So this would be a great site during the summer with shade from the tree. But since I don't have Little Red and I really wish I had Little Red, that bike and I are not getting along. Uh, but right up there is the CCC pav constructed pavilion. Cause this is also a CCC park. So we're gonna go check out some of the stuff that was constructed by the CCC back in the day. Stay tuned, more to come. I think every YouTuber that has ever been to Lockhart State Park has shot video of this waterfall. It's a CCC construct as well as the the bridge and the wall that holds up the creek bank. According to the yellow sign, I, this creek probably floods. Now, I was going to drive the motor home up there to up that hill, but there's a sign that says there's a low clearance. So I didn't risk it. It didn't say what the clearance was. It just said it was a low clearance. More to come. All right, so if you're bringing kids and they're driving you nuts because you gave them too much sugar, just know there's a playground where you can let them burn off that sugar. But I was reading the, the sign here, looking at all the various trails, and there's an article right here. So right over there is where the original CCC pool was located. So we'll, we'll go down here and explore a little bit. Now on the park website, there was an article about the feral hog problem. Apparently they're having a real issue with a, a, a pack of hogs or whatever you call them. Look how large that swimming pool area was. And I hear water. So this must be the waterfall that all the YouTubers are shooting video of. Ha, ah, look at that.
I think that's perfect for some time-lapse action. At one point, I'm pretty sure Lockhart State Park had more stuff going on than, than it actually does today. This is a, a, a old road that looks like it was one of the main park roads at one time. And there's another road over there. That would require some hiking, so I'm not going to go hike over there. But it looks like they have a disc golf course, or had one. Hold on. I think this was originally the main park road. Nope, that's a birdhouse. All right. Lots of, lots and lots of beautiful old oak trees down here on these creek bottoms. So let's go see if we can find some more old CCC structures. During the summer, you can come out here and you can do a little swimming in this swimming pool. I presume it's still open. It's a big one. Also, when you're, when you check in, that's also where you uh, check in for the golf course as well. All right, let's go see some more stuff. This little trail just keeps Joseph Anchando, 2012, built this bridge for us. Thank you, Joseph. <clears throat> the little trail just keeps crisscrossing back over this, this creek. And the creek just keeps winding around. We're going to go climb the hill and see the big pavilion. We have made it to the highest point. And look what we find. The highest point in Lockhart State Park. There's actually an old water tower. CCC built a lot of those. That's very pretty. With all the tables out here on the hilltop. Doesn't look like they're doing a whole lot of dancing out here these days. What a commending view. There was another YouTuber that I was, I watched some videos from who did a lot of exploring of these trails. Too bad they didn't put a tower on top of this, or an observation deck. That's what I'm trying to say. It's too bad they didn't put an observation platform on top of this one, because that would be really cool. We're running out of stuff to see here at Lockhart State Park. I'll see if I can find us a couple more things before I shut it down. Lockhart State Park in its heyday must have been some kind of seriously fun resort. I just found this. Shuffle ball. Of course, they've got a basketball court too. I don't know if the shuffleboard is, if you can rent that up at the gate or not. Don't hurt to ask. When I was originally searching for a campsite here at Lockhart State Park, I was hoping to get one of these sites here along the creek, because the creek is right over there. Now I'm really glad that I didn't, because, I mean, that's an ankle breaker right there. And then the wild pigs have chewed up that one over there.
course it would I mean if to just set up camp right up here and not have to go down to the the table but still they all drop dramatically so I'm happy where I am right next to the golf course on my return visit to Lockhart State Park I want to be in one of these three sites they are pull through water electric only sites the water's kind of on the in a weird place but like 17 it's, it's not too bad coming off of the the pad it's, it's still you got to be careful especially if you got bad knees but you can walk right down here and do some fishing or kayaking yeah I don't know if you could kayak very well on this little stream kind of some obstructions in the way I think I hear a waterfall I most definitely heard a waterfall and there it is it's a little one about the game of golf but I do know this there's not a whole lot of people playing golf on this golf course now this before noon there were quite a few groups coming through but it still it didn't seem like it was very busy but for the last hour 
Nobody's hitting balls. Maybe they're afraid of the coronavirus. Maybe the balls are afraid of the coronavirus. So I'm just sitting here recuperating. Lockhart State Park, it's a neat little park. Uh, if you're a golfer, this would definitely be a destination. If you need to eat some barbecue, they say there's some good barbecue in Lockhart. I, I, I had some. When I come back to Lockhart, I'll be eating at a different, different restaurant. I mean, it was okay. Maybe I caught them on a bad day. The park itself is very clean. There's just not a whole lot here other than the golf course. There's the dance pavilion up on the hill. You can't see much from the observation point because the, the trees have grown up. There's a little fish, or I mean a little creek. There's a little creek that may have some fish. I don't know. And I saw a place where they had, somebody had rigged up a swing uh, so they could swim in the creek uh, when it's warmer, I'm sure. Looks like a great place for young kids to have a, a great time exploring along that creek bottom without, being, without getting too far away. Lockhart State Park. If you're traveling through the area and you can get a site, might want to pay a visit. Well, the day has is coming to an end. We're done. I'm going to close it out because I'll be leaving here real early in the morning. I'm going to be rolling out at 6 a.m. So I will definitely not be doing a close out departure video first thing in the morning. I got to go get a little red. I appreciate y'all watching. If you enjoyed our visit to Lockhart State Park, well, you know what to do. Give me one of them thumbs up. Blast me out across social media. If this is your first time to visit, Dude RV, I would really appreciate you clicking on that subscribe button down there. And most important, remember to hit the bell as well. I am on a mission to document all of the Texas State Parks and the Texas State Park system, especially those where I can take my motor home. And there are 79 of those. This will be number 54. So click the bell. That way you won't miss another episode. Those of you who have subscribed, thank you so very much. I am so deeply honored that you're following me on this journey. Thank you so much. With that being said, hey, y'all come back now, you hear?